throw, 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 throw it up. <laughs> Start twerking like Molly. Oh yeah, twerking like Molly. Don't pop it like Molly. Alright, what's going on guys? It's Mystery here back with another video and before we start the gameplay in the background is Semi Mon Iron's gameplay. This was my second game on so I hope you guys enjoyed that in the background and without further ado, let's get into the commentary. So most likely why I clicked on this video is because you read the title and you agree with me in some sort of way or disagree and you're here to leave a dislike or a like, a negative comment or a positive comment or you can leave your opinion which is something I value a lot if you guys give me your opinion on um, why you think what I'm gonna talk about in this video is BS or not BS or agree or disagree you know and of course when I say big youtubers hate you I don't mean to take everyone and just generalize them and there are big channels you know that respond to comments tweets Facebook messages whatever social outlet they're using to express themselves to the fans you know but I'm gonna be mentioning names and a few people I was disappointed with, so yeah, let's get into it. And the inspiration for this video was Matthew Santoro. And if you guys don't know him, he's a YouTuber with 6 million subs. He has a second channel with 500,000 subs. And he's lately, like, I don't know if it's the past 6 months or even more, he's been like going down a rocky road of, you know, doing good, post, then going bad in terms of content creating and just posting like an apology video like I'm sorry I'm sorry no I'm sorry and like okay first time okay second time okay and third time and now he made a video I'm sorry not I'm sorry but let's you know talk real if you see like Matthew Centaur 2 just watch his latest video and he apologizes because he has family issues then he can trust these people you know I, I think that you should get yourself together and not just make these apology videos and I unsub for him I didn't leave it this like I just you know blew him off I really don't want anything to do with him anymore so yeah so when you usually watch YouTube you most likely have a few people that you watch regularly and go beyond YouTube you know and follow their Twitter Facebook fan page snapchat Instagram or whatever but most of these big youtubers don't even respond to you when you try to interact with them and that makes you feel like they're above you so why do these big youtubers with large number of subscribers not respond to you I mean that would benefit them no it would not benefit them simply because they don't want to you know they don't want to they see YouTube as a business as work as a source of income and they really feel like responding to you won't get them more views subs or give their channel growth as opposed to small youtubers who actually get something out of that you know responding to your viewers and subscribers now there are exceptions to this but sadly most youtubers that have a large number of subscribers only see youtube as a source of income they usually use the excuse i have that many subs i can't reply to everyone and so they use that as an escape to not reply to anyone you know with channels like LEA, with what is gamer tag yes like silencer cnan or smosh wings of redemption keemstar keemstar i like his content like some of these people i watch but i'm not gonna exclude them from my video because i like them no keemstar never plays technically it's not his channel but yeah now chaos silencer he is active on twitter with his fans so there like i said there are a few exceptions but i'm just putting them like general generalizing them like these people almost never reply to you on your YouTube comment sometimes on Twitter Instagram I really don't know and you don't usually see them responding to comments like I said I myself before I was a youtuber used to leave comments and now when I am a youtuber I also leave comments but less because I know it really doesn't mean anything to them and I almost never got a response and there were rare occasions when I did and I will get a reply, but in general, I will feel just like my comment wasn't even read or seen. Now, this is terrible because the fans got that person there and are given the middle finger, and that's why I think there are a lot of in inactive subscribers because they forgot about the content creator after he ignored their comment, tweet, or anything, or anything they you know put on the social media. And I'm gonna talk about someone that I have been like this one brought me the most disappointment this youtuber here this is someone I used to watch you know every night before I went to sleep and 
I love the fucking ass stuff, like in each and every one of his videos, like most of his videos, not all of his videos were related to trolling or stuff like that, but mess with the brands, you know. He was a great channel, but he somehow fell off the face of the earth. In terms of YouTube, he's still active on his Twitter account. And all of the people I mentioned in this video, I will link in the description because I don't want to call out people and, you know, not, not, not give credit, but I'm just going to link them in the description. Don't worry. And, you know, he turned his channel into a community channel, and he, now he lost, like, like half, of, not half of his subs, like, maybe 500,000 subs, which is a lot of subs, and I don't know why he did that. And... The reason he disappointed me is because in his hate mail videos or his drama life video, he says how he is so thankful on his, for his YouTube channel like he is blessed. You know, there are rumors that he stopped making videos because he threatened to bash a kid's teeth in. And there's a Skype call and you just type in Miss Oberon's exposed, you will see the video. And I agree with Bernsey at that point because what that kid did to him, I don't think he did anything wrong. He was just protecting his family. He was in a feather rage. I don't think anyone will have composure in that situation and I don't know why people were attacking him in the first place like the kids in the wrong here. And anyways, the video's coming to wrap here. We have one more minute so let's see. I want you guys to leave a rating which is a like or a dislike. I don't want to ask for likes, I want to ask for a rating which is whatever you want. You can leave a like, you can leave a dislike as long as you rate the video. You can also leave a comment on your opinion about this because I really want to see your opinions, I want to see other people's point of views on what they think um, big YouTubers not responding to comments or just hating, not hating you but really not giving a fuck about you and not all YouTubers you know that have a lot of subs are like that you know there's like buyer tier, there are, I know buyer tier is like the only one who I can think of at the moment I'm sure there are a lot of people who respond to you on YouTube, there's like Tbet, he has like 12,000 subscribers, there's Miss Heart Attack, I think she responds sometimes, and there's not a lot of people that I'm subscribed to that actually leave a comment, you know, saying hi or thank you for your comment or anything, like any kind of response would do from them. And with videos coming to wrap here, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, leave a rating, which is like or dislike, I don't care. And as always, this has been a Bone Mystery, and I am out. Bye, guys.